What's going on guys, it's the Beastly Gamer here. Today I'm going to give you guys my impressions of Slender the Arrival for the PlayStation 3 platform. I uh, have been playing this today, I got it last night, didn't really get too much time to play it last night, but today I've been enjoying it and I want to tell you guys what I think about the game. First of all, the game looks really good, it looks on par with the PC, maybe mid, mid range settings for a powerful PC. It runs smooth, I think it's hitting 30 frames per second, it's definitely not 60. Uh, it feels really good to play. One thing I gotta say is the controls feel a little stiff. Now that may be just from the transition from mouse and keyboard to uh, actual controller settings. This game was actually built around the PC infrastructure, so it to me it doesn't feel like it transferred over the way I would the way I would have liked it. But considering you know the fact that this came from a PC, it does feel pretty similar to the PC as far as the way the game moves and controls. Now, on the PS3 version of the game, you're actually getting more than you've ever gotten before with Slender the Arrival. Um, as a bonus, they've added a bunch of brand new content to the game. The game is now bigger than ever with new levels, new characters, and more stories to uncover. Now, I experienced that on the, the second level when I realized that uh, I wasn't just leaving the mansion, I was actually going to a place and not a load screen. I think that's a really nice bonus or perk to add to the game that uh, you, you have this new content, especially for people who really, really like Slender the Arrival and have, you know, you know have put hours into the game and, and completely beat the game. Now you got this new content, new characters, and uh, new stories to actually unlock. I think that adds much more replayability to the game. Um, I like Slender the Arrival. I never really got a chance to delve deeply into the PC version of the game. Uh, because I'm not a PC gamer. Um, that's just the way it is. I know the PC is the, the best and most powerful platform to play games on, but I was never able to get my head around the mouse and keyboard. I know that the PC is, is the best way to game, especially if you like graphic graphically intense experiences, but I've, I was never able to get my head really around the, uh, the mouse and keyboard aspect of PC gaming. But the good thing for me is, now that some of the arrivals on PS3, I'll have plenty of opportunity and time to delve deeply into the game. I'm enjoying it. It's a very <laughs> scary experience for people like 9to5Gamers probably won't play it. Uh, but at the value that Sony is giving this game out at, I think it's a steal. It's only $9.99 on the PlayStation Network. So you get the best Sunday the Arrival experience for 10 bucks on PlayStation Network right now. So I think if you like Slender, if you like scary games, if you like Amnesia, games like that where you're actually running around and you, you're basically trying to escape this terrible entity, Slender will definitely be a, a valuable pickup for you. So you guys check out Slender the Arrival on PlayStation 3. It came out September 23rd a few days ago. I'm, I'm enjoying it and I hope you guys do too. I'm the BC Gamer and I'll see you guys next time. How the hell did I miss this? Okay. It's a big old cabin. Cabin in the woods. Let's go inside and see what we got. It's a cabin. What the hell? Um, this is bullshit. Holy shit, my dude. 